Tonight we're hearing from a woman who is attacked by a black bear in her yard. She tells KDK she's really not sure how it is that she survived. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Ken Rice. The attack happened in Butler County around 830 last night. Leanne Galante tells us that she had just let her dog out when she spotted three large bear cubs. And then she saw the mother bear. And she came up behind me and she pushed me down and my face went smack right into our cement. Then she got me by the back of my head and she was pulling so hard on it. I thought I was going to get scalped. She has a number of bites and scratch wounds, but is expected to be OK. Game officers euthanized the adult bear. The cubs are going to be released into the woods. You know, bear attacks are extremely rare in Pennsylvania, but bear sightings are not. Jennifer Barrasso joins us now with some insight into what's happening with the black bear population around here. Jen. Thanks, Ken. So the Pennsylvania Gaming Commission says the bear population has rebounded dramatically. And now these bears, they can be found everywhere around the state. Leanne Galante survived a vicious bear attack. It was very terrifying. I honestly didn't think uh, I was going to make it and I couldn't believe this was happening. Pennsylvania Game Commission Communications Director Travis Lau says what happened to her is rare. They only see one or two bear attacks every year. Our, our black bears here are not excessively aggressive. Uh, they're, they're rather non-confrontational. Uh, when there is an attack, there's often a, an aggravating factor that you could point to as perhaps causing that attack. On the brink of extinction in the 1980s, Lau says there are now 18,000 bears in the state, and he says they're not just living in the mountains or forests. It's not unusual, you know, be, because we have bear populations that, that can thrive among people. Bears are attracted to food. In terms of bear sightings in residential areas, Lau didn't know if it's happening more, but he thinks it's possible simply because there are so many more bears around than there used to be. So it's not like a, an increase of population can occur all in one spot. There needs to be natural expansion in that. So I think that, that that expansion has put bears in more areas of the state. And all bears are looking for an easy meal, bird feeders, trash, even just the scent of a meal cooked on a grill. Those visits to those areas are just that. The Pennsylvania Gaming Commission is still investigating this bear attack. They tell me that they follow protocol euthanizing the mother bear because of a concern for other potential attacks. As for those cubs, I'm told that they could be released into the wild tomorrow if they are cleared from rabies testing. Reporting live in Ross Township, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.